Now, before the score, we witnessed the Philippine men's volleyball team flex their strength, and flex they did, against Vietnam, and the Philippines winning in straight sets, 25-20, 25-21, and 25-12, led by the incredible Brian Bagunas, and uh, you know Joshua Tamar was a bright future. This win shows that we have a solid shot uh, to secure the number one spot in our bracket and boosting our chances for a medal finish. Now here to uh, help us uh, break down the team's win over Vietnam in their upcoming games, our analysts, Carmela Tunay and Neil Flores. Hi, guys. Hi, good evening. Yeah, I like it that we're all smiles. <laughs> yeah, because smiles. we won. We no. should be smiling. Because, because we won. By the way, shout out to the Ateneo Blue Eagles. <laughs> the cheating squad natin for Team Philippines earlier. Thank you, thank you, uh, thank you, guys. Now, men's volleyball, how impressed were, were you guys with that win by the Philippines over Vietnam? Mela. Well, ako personally, um, seeing them play just um, a couple of minutes ago, talagang nakaka-impress kasi um, Vietnam were podium finishers for the longest time in the SEA Games men's volleyball also. So, parang yung convincing win that Philippines had over them is parang a big morale boost to the team, especially when they go up against Indonesia, who's been, um, you know, having finals appearances in the SEA Games also for eight times na, and seven kasi doon, finals appearances. So, nakikita natin na yung chances talaga ng men's team natin is really high this year. So the chances are really high. Neil, do you think we can sustain that winning momentum when we face Indonesia? Definitely. You know what? This is a product of eight months of training, 17 days in Japan, nine tune-up games against Division II players from the Japanese side. So with the lengthy preparation of our Philippine men's volleyball team, I really feel that we have a good shot in getting that gold medal. But before that, let's take down Indonesia first, no. then let's worry about that <laughs> next. Yeah. Yeah. Expectations. Yeah, yeah. One set at a time, yeah, yeah. Yeah, guys. And I, I like it that the days and everything. Uh, okay, uh, Brian Bagunas, what an athletic marvel. I mean, he was jumping above the net. Uh, and, and, and he was such a treat to watch, especially for the people who uh, watched in, in field sports. Uh, why is Brian such an incredible athlete? And for the people watching for the first time, talaga masyasyaka dun sa athleticism niya. Well, I think siya na yun, si Brian na yun. But I think it's also because of the program na, na experience niya with Coach um, with Coach Dante, and uh, ganyan na kasi siya even in the UAP, but I think his experience uh, sa Japan also gave him a big boost, kasi playing abroad, diba, tapos babalik ka dito to play for your country na parang ang dami mong nagawa sa ibang bansa, so what more for your country, diba? So I think that's what make what makes Brian more inspired to play now. But how about what makes Joshua Tamar more inspired to play? Because, I mean, we all know Brian has so much international experience, but here we have a rookie in Josh who's also shining so bright in the SEA Games. Well, you know what? It's already a given that Marcus Pejo and Brian Bagunas will really get their numbers and touches. Yeah. But the biggest revelation is really Joshua yeah. Retamar. He was the last addition in our Philippine men's volleyball team. A lot of people were actually questioning, kaya ba nito kasi masyado pang bata? Mm -hmm. But in the past two games, we really see... We really youth saw, is not an issue. Yeah, when youth it is comes not an Josh. issue when it comes to ball distribution, the blocking, oh. na yung sinasabi ni Coach Dante, that that is purely the advantage of our Philippine men's volleyball team compared mm -hmm. to the other countries. Yeah. Okay, let's go over the strengths of our team and what will give us a chance to take down Indonesia. So, Mela, I'll start with you. Ano yung para sa'yo na number one strength ng ating men's volleyball team? Hindi ko masabi number one. Pwede po bang two? Kumawad. Alam mo, Mela? Christmas ngayon, Tito. Mela, matagal tayo ni nagigita. I will give you two. Sige po. I think it's really the blocks and service aces ng Philippines. Kasi in their past two games, siguro yung mga attacks, ano eh, medyo nag-equalize lang with our opponents. Pero yung blocks at saka service aces natin, talagang iba. Minsan may 10-point disparity on that department each. So parang I think yun din yung nagdadala sa atin. Especially when our opponents talaga are making a rally, tapos yung blocks natin tuloy-tuloy, and yung leading best blocker nga natin so far in the two games is itong si Retamar. So parang big boost yon sa team, kasi namamatay lagi momentum ng kalaban natin when they rally and stay close to us. I wanted to also, I'm curious, eh, you know, Josh, as we mentioned, he's young. Do you think 
some people would tend to look at it as a disadvantage because school and experience, mm-hmm. you know, wala you know, in the international scene. But when he's doing so much for the Philippine team, do you think he's becoming more of a catalyst, more of a game changer in a sense for the men's volleyball team? Yes, I would have to agree because five out of the seven players in the first six of Coach Dante's team comes from NU. So the com- the comfort of Joshua Retemar setting Brian Bagunas and his medals, yun yung advantage natin. If you watch the game earlier, ang daming nakuhang fish na medals, kaya ang daming gaps dun sa blocking nung kalaban natin kanina. If, if we can go to more combination plays with Joshua Retamar, we can really get a good podium finish. The okay. excitement is really there. Yeah. <laughs> and you can tell sa body language nung team natin, yeah. uh, for those watching, uh, they have the confidence. You yes. see it in the eyes, you see it sa kilos. There's no, ano eh, wala yung para bang hesit, nag-hesitate, or para bang magduda sa, sa self-ability to, you know, to win this. Do you see that? Do you sense that the, itong team natin, they have the true winning confidence in the SEA Games? Ako, nakikita ko siya, um, especially because um, I've covered Indonesia as well and other and other countries that we will play against. Talagang iba yung sigla ng Philippine team. Siyempre, siyempre tayo rin yung host, pero iba rin yung nadudulot dun sa game nila. I mean, Indonesia has been winning their past two games as well, pero the energy is not the same. And I think that just gives um, a bonus para sa team natin to perform better despite kung ano man yung mga errors na nagkakaroon tayo. Because body language is really a big, big thing in sports. Uh, Neil, what do we need to watch out for sa susunod na kalaban natin so that, uh, you know, we can... We can win that match. Well, you know, Vietnam and Indonesia, medyo similar yung strategies. They have one go-to player. Actually, Mela covered yeah. the game of Indonesia. It was number 12, Rivan, with 22 points. So if we can limit the number of points from that person, I think we can get that win against Indonesia. That's why so many exciting things again. And we're all hoping for the best, dahil kung nandun na yung confidence of our men's volleyball team, we just hope the continuous rin yung support na ating mga kapamilya with, uh, you know, everything else. So thank you so much, Mela. Thank you so much, Neil. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now up next, we get a live update on Gilas Pilipinas' first matchup against Singapore, and we talk to gold medalist from the men's 3x3 team when the score returns.